What's up? It's always me Johnny and welcome to my new video. So today we are gonna see some customization that you can do on your Mac. So this is gonna be a very short video. I'm gonna talk about this specific application that you can just download and install for free, completely for free. And it is using some external widget created by people. So they are all for free too. And I am talking about this application called Ubersicht. I don't know if it's the correct pronunciation. I think it is, uh, I think German, but I am not sure of it. I will link down below the app because probably you didn't understand the name of this application. So you will find all the links of this video down below in the comments or maybe in the description. So make sure to check them out. Anyway, to download it, just go onto the official website. I will link it down below as I said before. So just click on the link and just click download. And it's very fast, very easy. So you open the application already downloaded. After that, you will find the application on the top bar of your MacBook. And from that, you can install and edit some of the widgets. But let's talk about these widgets. On the home page where you downloaded this application, you will find another button that says get widgets. So you click on that button and it will automatically redirect you to the widget page and you will find all the widgets created for this specific application. So first of all, there are a lot of widgets inside that page, but I'll tell you right now that the weather widgets are not working because they were made in collaboration or just they did take the data of weather from Dark Sky. Before it was an Android app, now has been bought by Apple. They cannot get the data of the weather anymore. So if you want to install these weather widgets because some of that are very very cool actually they will not work so just to let you know don't install the weather widgets because probably they will not work also some of the other widgets will not work very very good i mean they will not work properly on your mac if especially if you are using an arm chipset so if you are on m1 or m2 probably some of that widgets will not work very very good on your mac anyway i have three simple widgets installed on my desktop they are as I said, very, very simple because one is it's a minimal clock and the other one it's a minimal calendar. And the last one, it is just some particles moving in the background. So it just gives that very minimal, but it makes like all the wallpaper live. Anyway, to install a widget, very, very simple. Just find the widget that you like the most on that page and then click on the widget itself and then click on download. It will download just a folder and inside the folder there will be some other files but just make sure to extract the folder from the zip file and once you have extracted the folder of this widget that you like just go on the top of your mac and click on the app that you previously downloaded and just click on the open widget folder once you open the widget folder on this app simply just drag and drop your folder of the widget that you have already downloaded onto that folder and the widget will appear automatically on your desktop. Of course, all the widgets are just customizable and you can edit them by modifying the text files that you can find inside the widget folder. And it's not very intuitive and it is not very fast to edit the widget itself because you can edit like the color, the position, the size and some of this basic stuff but it is not very, very intuitive, as I said before, because you have to actually edit all the lines of code inside of the widget file. If you have some basic programming knowledge, it is very, very easy because if you have like HTML knowledge or, or some of that, it is very, very easy to find the values to edit. But if you don't know pretty much anything about programming, it is still easy because there are not many strings inside of the file and so if you try to guess and try every value on these files you will find probably the value that you need for example if you have to move a widget just try all the values that you can see inside of the file of the widget and then just hit save and see if something happens to the widget as i said it's not very very intuitive but it is not art either. Anyway, that was pretty much it and I am actually searching for some other apps that I can use to edit and customize my desktop but for now I just found this and it's pretty cool and also it's free. I decided to show it to you but if I found something like more easy to install and edit stuff 
I will show you for sure on this channel. So make sure to stay updated with the videos on this channel and subscribe right now if you haven't already. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that if you are using external monitor on your MacBook, for example, and they are probably with different resolution of your MacBook, when you will unplug the external monitor, the values on the widget will be like off. So for example, in my case, I will find my clock and my calendar like move it around the screen because they have not the same resolution. So keep that in mind. It is not something critical, of course, but the positioning of the widget, it is not automatic. So you understand by yourself that if you change the resolution of the monitor, you will have to change also the values of the widgets. That's pretty much it. Hope you liked this video. If you did, just leave a like down below because it's free. And also leave a comment if you are interested into this app. And also let me know if you know actually some other apps to customize your MacBook because I am very, very interested into that. And I don't know many other apps that can do that for free. So let me know it down below in the comments. Anyway, as I said before, subscribe to this channel if you won't miss any other videos that I will post. And also thank you for watching this video as always. And I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.